guys welcome back to my channel my name is Melissa for those of you who don't know and for today's video I'm going to show you guys my Ulta and Sephora haul so I did purchase a few items from Ulta and Sephora and I wanted to show y'all what I got but before we jump into that portion of the video I just want to ask you guys if you have not subscribed already please consider subscribing to my channel and also giving this video a thumbs up if you do like what you see throughout the video and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, guys. So I'm going to show you guys what I got from Sephora first, then I'm going to show you guys what I got from Ulta. So February is my birthday month, if you guys don't know, and I did get a Sephora... You get the choice. You got like a Briogeo, you got a Kat Von D, or you got, um, I forgot what the, I think the third one was a Drunk Elephant uh, option for like a little trial size. And that's a gift for the month of February, or I think for the whole year. I think they do yearly. Uh, so that was the gift for that. So one thing that I did like is with Sephora, you can actually get your birthday gift online with Ulta they don't do that with Ulta you have to go in person you get your gift and for the month of February I did get the bang I think it's the bang girl mascara I didn't pick it up yet but Ulta does give you $10 off and then I think they give you like it's two times the extra points for the month of your birthday so that's super super exciting but I'll show you guys what I got from each and yeah so I'm gonna start off with the birthday gift so from Sephora I got the Briogeo Revive and Repair Duo. So it is the Scalp Revival uh, Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. And then I also did get the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. And I'm super excited because I love that mask. They're like little cute travel sizes. They're adorable. Aren't they just so cute? So I've used this one, the Don't Repair Mask, and I love it. It is so good. I haven't used the Scalp Revival, but I'm super excited to test it out. So I think this was actually a great birthday gift for the month. So I'm super excited about that. Then if you guys have not watched my favorites of January, go ahead and watch it. I'll link it up above. But I did do a restock on a restock slash like purchase more of the Peace Out line. So I have tried the Peace Out Dark Spots. Love them. Um, one example that I do have is I have a beauty mark right over here. And basically I had, I had like a blemish on there and it popped. And basically my beauty mark got like really red, discolored, and just not like nice looking like it was before. So I put this on. I think it was, it only took me like three times and I saw such a difference like literally my beauty mark just looked so much better and it looked less right I put this on dark spots I probably use this like once or twice a week that's it I really don't use it much but this is amazing this has micro needling in it I'm obsessed and it really really does make a difference I have not tried the peace out acne but I do get blemishes here and there I'm really lucky I suffered from really bad skin um about like a year and a half ago when I first started my youtube channel and my acne was like really really bad and now my acne has definitely calmed down I'm gonna do a video for you guys I promise but uh, I do get blemishes here and there so I wanted to get the acne one to see how that worked I have tried um different acne mask which are just like serums that you put on your acne mark overnight or acne blemish overnight and I wanted to see if this worked any better then I also got the peace out puffy eyes so I've actually not tried this but I do get really dark deep circles so I'm super excited to go ahead and test this out and then the last one I actually got and I just tried it, it was two nights ago I tried this so this is a peace out pores so you have four blackheads Head strips and four pore strips so basically what it comes with is it comes with a part that you could put on your nose and then it comes with an extra part and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell but on this photo it does show that the extra part is supposed to go like on your forehead I figured that like my pore head yes I do have pores but I actually get really bad pores on my chin area so I wanted to go ahead and test it out on there and I don't know if it was like okay 
let me let me tell the complete story okay so I put the nose strip on and then I put the extra mask like right on my chin area again the photo did state to put it on your forehead but it didn't say you couldn't put it anywhere else so I was like okay I'm probably fine with putting it on my chin so I go to sleep and the mask part is actually clear so I was like okay this is gonna be fine then I woke up the next morning and the mask was white and I was like oh that's actually kind of cool because you just see that it like pulls out all the impurities on your skin right so I take it off and there was a lot of like stickiness on my nose and on my chin so I was like all right so I went and I was rubbing it off and I don't know if I rubbed it off too hard on my chin area I mean my nose feels like fine but my chin it felt like really like raw and irritated so again I don't know if it was because I was rubbing it too hard or you're not supposed to put it on your chin uh, I'll try to see if I can find something online maybe some more detailed instructions on if you could put on your chin or if it's just like a forehead thing I don't know my chin was super super red the next day and then the chin was really really red and just irritated and now it feels like super dry and like bumpy it feels like a little bit of like eczema ish so I don't know if maybe like it absorbed too much oil on my chin area maybe I'm just not that oily there I'm not sure but it did irritate or I irritated my chin so I'm not gonna be putting it on my chin anymore again I'm gonna try to find some instructions I mean on my nose it felt fine I didn't have any reaction there so maybe next time I'll try my forehead but it really was red today it doesn't hurt as much I just really feel like the texture and the bumps and it's just really really dry and I have been putting a lot of moisturizer serums and stuff just to really make sure that my chin looks and feels okay I really did like it on my nose so that's one positive but I'm definitely gonna give this another chance and the next thing I got was actually just a little sample this is a new Fenty Beauty mascara so this mascara is actually really really cool so I'll show you guys what it looks like I definitely do want to do a first impressions of this so I don't want to open it up right now it has a wand but the wand has like two different sides it's like fluffy on one side and then it's flat on the other side the fat surface is supposed to load and lift your lashes and the flat side is supposed to define and curl so I think you're supposed to use a fat side first and then go in with a thin side but I'm super excited to test this out and I'm definitely going to be using a first impressions on this so I can check this out. And then the last thing that I did get, I actually used points for this because I was actually going to go ahead and purchase one, but then I saw this and I was like, oh, I could just use my points to get that. I mean, I know that this is a four point system. It's kind of whack, but I did need something and I thought this was cute and I was like, okay, instead of spending the money on it, I'll just use this. Um, I had plenty of points, so... Um, always trying to get that one reward point where it's that $100 gift card for like 2,500 points or something like that. Always trying to find that, but I cannot. I don't know if they don't make it anymore or what, but I went ahead and I picked this up because I thought it was cute and I needed something to put my brushes in because my brushes are just overloading I have a lot of them so I thought this was cute it's a pretty decent size and yeah so that is basically everything that I did get at Sephora I now let me show you guys what I got from Ulta so first thing that I did get I don't even need any more powders but I saw this and anything that says like shined free or like something to help with like mattifying your oily skin it always draws me in so I got this this is the Maybelline shine free oil control loose powder this is just in the shade light so I went ahead and I picked this up I hope it works I mean I have been really loving Maybelline products I really want to deep dive into drugstore makeup I feel like I always have a lot of high-end makeup I am a Sephora junkie but I really want to deep dive into drugstore and I feel like I've said that a lot over the past few videos but if you guys have any recommendations for drugstore products then definitely let me know I definitely want to venture out into more drugstore products so uh, at Ulta I did basically buy a majority of the drugstore stuff so yeah so this is the first one I got I'm super excited to test this out and I hope that it works for my oily skin then the next thing I got this is the Maybelline New York nudes of nudes so I love like every single day for work 
it is what time is it right now it is six o'clock right now and i'm home from i came home from work and literally i just had this makeup on all day and in the morning i just like i just do nude eyes like that's all i do i do very neutral eye and i do nude lip that is basically my go-to every single day for work so i feel like this is gonna be a great everyday palette for me like these colors look so gorgeous such oh my god they fell out that's all right Just don't flip it upside down all right they are back intact they didn't break so I'm gonna be very careful show you guys but these are basically my everyday sort of colors they look really really pretty you have a lot of warm tone colors in here um, you have a mix of mattes and you have a mix of shimmers. so yeah I feel like this is gonna be a great everyday palette and I'm super excited to test this out this is probably something I'll use every single day because my eye look today is as creative as it gets during the work week literally I do a nude eye every single day like I've been reaching for the Tati beauty palette I'm super excited to test this out and I really want to deep dive more in a drugstore so I can't wait to use this on my eyes then the next thing that I got this is the Catrice luminous highlight and bronze glow palette so this looks so pretty it's showing up a lot lighter there we go here you can see the actual color without it getting like super blown out that looks looks so pretty doesn't it like and they feel pretty soft too like those colors look gorgeous let me see Ooh, that looks pretty this one I'll probably use more so as an eyeshadow but those colors look so nice so I'm really really like them they don't feel chalky and they don't feel super heavy or powdery anything like that so I'm excited since I did swatch some of those shades I kind of want to swatch some of the nude shades okay maybe I'll just do it okay let's see ooh oh my gosh okay let me swatch some shimmers ooh this palette looks beautiful this palette looks so pretty let me see oh my god yeah yep my type of palette those colors look stunning and yeah i'm gonna use this every single day i am obsessed those colors look beautiful this is definitely a palette i will reach for every day the thing that i got is actually not drugstore but i really really wanted to try this out this is the nars natural radiant longwear foundation i got this in the shade light five and I've actually never tried the NARS foundation and it's just a little mini size. This was like $22 I believe but it's definitely a great match for me as I could see right now but I'm super excited. I did to go ahead and test this out. I think it'll work well for my skin. Again I'm probably going to be doing a like first impressions video soon just to test out a lot of these products so that's really exciting and then I also did get a concealer. This is the Revolution conceal and define infinite long wear concealer this is crease proof i got mine in the shade c6 and i think it's gonna be a pretty good match for me i usually do go lighter actually it might be too light but i mean we will always make it work if need be but i'm excited to try this out this is 16 hours of wear it says that it's crease proof like that's amazing and it's supposed to be i think full coverage so i can't wait to try this out and again definitely stay tuned for a little first impressions video so let me just show you the last few lipsticks so i have the revolution makeup uh satin kiss lip liners so the first shade that i have is white wedding that is just such a pretty like pink mauve shade i love it and it felt really creamy going on the second shade that i have is this shade show firm and that shade looks so pretty so got those two and then l'oreal came out with some matte lipsticks so this is just the matte lip crayon these remind me of the maybe of the maybelline superstay ones so first shade that i got is the shade strawberry glaze which is oh, 
that looks so pretty oh my gosh it's the shade right here that looks so pretty and actually pairs pretty well with the lip liner the lip liner is a little bit deeper but that's actually a really pretty combination and then the next shade that i got is the shade smooth caramel and that is this shade right here that's a little bit more orangey but it still looks really pretty i think it can pair really well with this so for a shade I think I could totally make that work it definitely is more orange than caramel but it looks really pretty and I'm excited to test them out so that is everything that I did get guys I'm super excited to test everything out definitely stay tuned for a video featuring all these products for the first time um, if there's anything you guys really want a deep dive review on with like either the hair care products or the peace out products definitely let me know i will definitely do a blog post talk about more talk more about them on my channel so definitely stay tuned for that so that is it for this video guys i hope that you all did enjoy let me know what you guys got at ulta and at sephora because i definitely want to hear but that is it guys i hope that you guys did enjoy this video please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy and then also please do not forget to subscribe to my channel so you could be part of the atfb fam atfb all things fashion beauty and hit the post notification bell so you can get notified of all my future uploads i usually do upload every monday wednesday and friday at 3 p.m est and that's it guys i will see you guys in my next video bye Thank you.